I want you to imagine. Imagine that you are on trial. And you are on trial for your life. This carries an automatic death sentence. And you are guilty. And everybody knows it. All the witnesses are over there. And they're bringing up every bad, evil, wicked, scummy thing that you've ever done. The prosecutor is over there. And he's bringing up all kinds of stuff. He's even making up a lot of stuff. He's lying about you. And then the judge is standing before you. You are on trial before the judge. He's got his black robes on. He's got his gavel in his hand. He's ready to pronounce judgment. And you are guilty. You are guilty as sin. You are guilty of sin. And everybody knows it. There is no innocent until proven guilty. And then your defense attorney steps up. And he kind of clears his throat. <clears throat> and he says, hey, you, you've got to let him go. You've got to let her go because I've already served their sentence. I've already taken care of it. I've already taken care of everything. The penalty has been paid. Everything has been made right. We have a high-powered friend. 1 John chapter 2, verse 1. And I love the way that the Voice Bible puts this. So that's what I'm reading from. And it says this, You are my little children, so I am writing these things to help you avoid sin. If, however, any believer does sin, we have a high-powered defense lawyer, Jesus, the anointed, the righteous, arguing on our behalf before the Father. We have a high-powered friend who is, is actually powered on high. We have an advocate. We have someone on our side. We have someone in our corner in the big holy courtroom of life. Okay, and The defender really, in, in this courtroom, in the courtroom of God, the defender has to be perfect. He has to be without sin himself. And Jesus is the only one that's qualified. That's why it's so stupid. You've probably seen those courtroom movies where somebody steps up and they're like, Your Honor, I'd like to defend myself. And you're thinking, big, stupid move. You don't have what it takes. You don't have the knowledge. You don't have the skill. You don't have the credibility. And when we try to do things on our own, that's what we're doing. When we try to live on our own, when we don't put our trust in Jesus, that's what we're doing. We're basically saying, Your Honor, I'd like to defend myself. Big, stupid move. We have a legal advocate. We have a friend in the throne room who, who is pleading for us. Jesus is pleading his, our case based on what he did, not a, based on what we did. He, he pleads his case, or our case, based on what he did for us. And it's not a one-time deal, because if you look at this, this isn't really written to, to non-believers. This isn't written to people who aren't in the church yet. This is written to the church. And he says, you are my little children. If any believer does sin, okay? So, so it's an ongoing thing. Jesus isn't just about getting us out of heaven. Jesus isn't there just to get us out of heaven, get us a, a get out of hell free card. He, he wants to help us through life. He wants to help us get through all of life and empower us and be there for us and, and, and encourage us. And our reaction really should be complete gratitude. Our reaction should be just to, to, to get to know him completely and just to fall in love and live in love with Jesus. And in verse 3, it says this, we know we've joined in, in an intimate relationship with him because we live out his commands. If someone claims I'm in an intimate relationship with him, but this big talker doesn't live out his commands, then this individual is a liar and a stranger to the truth. But if someone responds to and obeys his word, then God's love has truly taken root and filled him. This is how we know we're in intimate relationship with him. Anyone who says I live in intimacy with him should walk the path that Jesus walked. Jesus has gotten us off the hook. He continues to get us off the hook. So don't waste this incredible opportunity. Live in love with him. Live like him. Go out and, and do your best to live like Jesus. God bless you guys. Giddy up.